Hello, fellow walkers. Here we are again for another. Not another, I'm just kidding. A new. A new set. Uh, we will be drafting a new set today, uh, which is Kaldheim. So it's a brand new set. It's the first time I'm touching the set. I've been studying a bit uh, in the past few days, but. Uh, altogether it will be a completely new experience as probably it will be for many of you um, so without further ado um, and since today I don't have a lot of time um, let's jump right in by the way uh, I typically do a longer introduction so <laughs> I guess I can I can do it either way um, so um, if you don't know me, I'm uh, I'm Diogo. I'm typically streaming um, limited content uh, on Magic, of course, um, and I'm on this journey to to learn Magic, to improve at Magic, and to to also improve at life, of course. Uh, so you will find us discussing not only Magic strategy but also um, life strategy from time to time and how the two uh, correlate. Um, if you're interested in in finding me elsewhere, you can you can um, find the social social links on my about section or in in the chat right now. Uh, but if you want to keep in touch and you want to discuss uh, something, um, that that's um, that's where that's those are the platforms I'm mostly active on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, so yeah. Will we, we actually re reach seven wins today? Like first stream, f first stream, first draft, first seven wins. So uh, let's find out. By the way, I was actually thinking today. Um, I started streaming like um, AZ Bastos. How are you? Thank you for joining. Um, Seven wins for sure. So, actually started streaming like Zendikar Rising was already well underway, like at least one month after the the set release, I guess. Uh, and I I've only streamed Zendikar Rising, and I've I did a, a bunch of streams already uh, uh, sessions. So it's really it was a long long set, <laughs> I guess. Oh, this has some some weird borders we're just waiting for the missing player and we'll get started this will be awesome this set looks really cool it sure does okay i was trying to to fix a few things i guess they aren't working so let us see we have a mythic we open the mythic changeling castings or sorcery if targets one or more permanents you control create a token that's a copy of the, those permanents uh, spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard the card create a token that's a copy of target permanent so i guess this is a this is close to a a, a bomb or yeah it, it is a bomb uh, like uh, i should prioritize um isn't instance or sorceries in order to clone my stuff so this should fall well on on a giant's deck um, other than that what we see in the pack squash which is a, a really good um, reward for playing uh, for playing giants like six damage for two mana instant speed it's just crazy and i was about to spend a bit more time on the cards on the pack but i couldn't um this is one this is a, a land that falls well within the um, within the the deck that we were just mentioning this um elven bow it's like for three mana we get a, a two three reach creature and an equipment of course tag the pack that that creature so altogether it is uh it is an interesting card uh selesnia is not really the most supported kind of archetype in this pack in in this uh, format so we have a few other options Th this land it sure does some work on on the on the giants deck they will typically have at least three toughness so this can 
um, swipe the the opponent's board if they are doing some if they are doing some go wide strategy like uh, playing dwarfs or, or playing um, uh, elves or playing Selesnia, which has humans, warriors, and all the like. There's also some some interesting white cards, but well, time ran out. Okay, Inga Rune Highs. So this is a wizard. It still synergizes with um, with the giant's wizard's archetype. When it dies, draw three cards. If three or more creatures die this turn, um, this won't get triggered that often. Scry three. It's it's almost draw a card <laughs> in a way. At least you can optimize your your next draw steps quite well. Um, so. It's, it seems to be strong, and since we are uh, yet exploring the, um, the the archetypes present, uh, this this looks to be uh, an interesting pick. W now, this is still pick three, so not a lot of signals, and this is still early format, so catching signals it's um, it's a bit more challenging right now. You 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 need to trust a bit more power level and don't trust that, that much the signals, but. Typically, you can start seeing what colors are open. Maybe not ar archetypes, but what colors? <laughs> because if people around me are not playing white, for example, uh, that might be good for me. Waking the troll. So blue, green, blue, red is not really the um, the um, the kind of deck that can support that well. Um, splashing and splashing for green. You will more more likely than not uh, start green and splash for other stuff. Uh, we're not seeing that that powerful cards here, uh, to be honest. There's a giant here, but it's six mana. Like it's not ambushing anything, so <laughs> it's it's a bit weird. The, this pack is not that good for us. Still, we're seeing some black. This infernal pet is a nice card. I will likely pick it uh, just just because just to keep our our paths open. We're seeing some black. It's not that we're seeing good black, but <laughs> I guess um, another option would be to start picking some some lands. White is not really uh, some snow lands because if you don't know, um, one needs to to pick uh, snow lands before. Um, uh, during the draft, you're not allowed to have an arbitrary number of, of uh, Snowlands uh, in your deck. You need to pick them, prioritize them during the draft. Um, we're seeing some dwarf stuff. Uh, Raven form is not that good on our deck. This card is not good. Enters battlefield. Okay, whatever. I don't know. It's a black card. We have another black card. Um, to target creatures, uh, get plus one plus zero and gain indestructible until the end of the turn. So we actually picked a nice black card, I believe. Squash. Squash is a nice payoff for the kind of deck that, that we are trying to build. Nonetheless, we're not seeing that ma that many giants. Um, let me check this black card. This, if you sacrifice it and uh, after tapping. Gets minus X minus X, where X is number of snow lands you control. We're not seeing that much snow, to be honest. Probably uh, at least lands. Um, someone prioritized the snow land from this pack higher than squash and, sting and stuff like that. So that's a slightly good sign for us. Um, and it's interesting to see that we're not the slowest uh, player in the pod. So I guess other people are facing the same uh, the same hardship. Uh, there's a snow covered island. There's another squash that I might pick. This is smashing success. Is really uh, just a, a sideboard card. Um, seize the spoils. Discard a card. Draw two cards and and create a treasure token. Not that strong. Uh, Return upon the tide is a nice black card. Uh, but not that great for the kind of deck that we're trying to build. It's still a very expensive way to bring a creature and we we don't get the... Okay, whatever. 
I should have paid more attention to if I <laughs> to if I had selected a a card. It seems I did not. Uh, Lichara Kinseekers, or yeah. Litiara. Enters the battlefield, you control three or more creatures that share a creature type, put a plus one plus one counter on Litiara, Kin Seekers, and Scry One. This is a nice card for, for our kind of tech. So it counts itself. Um, so we just need to have two other creatures that share the, the same type if another creature is a, a, also a changeling and a different one is an, a giant or whatever. Uh, we are good to go. Um, Come on, three squashes? If I if I pick three squashes, this is the wheel. So we were looking at this squash on pack one and it wheeled the whole table, which might be a good sign. Um, other than that, we might pick Draugr Thought Thief. Bear in mind that we are not, we're still not uh, playing towards our lower end of the curve. So, but I, but I will pick another squash. What happened to my second swap squash? I think I picked a different thing, yeah. Um, we're seeing some black, Aggie Mob. Uh, Troll Berserker, gain control of target creature. We won't likely find ourselves in a, in a place to play that. Infernal Pet, this is truly... Okay, this is just another expensive card. Probably I... I could have picked the, the land, maybe, since I don't know exactly where I should land. Uh, but not intended, by the way. Uh, Grim Draugr, this is, yeah, a lot of... Re oh. Ice, re <laughs> snow requirements. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Oh, AG Magic. You're raiding, man. Thank you. Party of eight. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're, I guess we're doing the, the, whatever AG Magic was doing before. <laughs> Let us pick this Undersea Invader. Um, hey, AG Magic. Thank you for the rave, man. Thank you. How did it go, the, the rest of your draft? Okay, these cards don't really matter. Uh, whatever. I'll just pick Skull Raid and Green Draugr. We might still fall into a uh, whatever. Okay, five three. That's a that's a pretty nice score. That's a pretty nice score. Um, okay, out of this pack, Crush the Week is a um, is a nice is a nice payoff to be to be playing Giants. Uh, it doesn't have Giants in, in its um, description, but it's a nice thing to do on turn two. We can crush our opponent's creatures before unlocking our um, more expensive creatures and spells. Uh, so we, altogether it is, it is a, indeed a nice card and we saw a lot of squashes going around. Um, <laughs> you drafted very poorly. Oh, you did another one after the, after the elves. Okay, cool. I, I think I missed that. I was <laughs> re get, getting things ready to, to, to stream. Um, Narfi is still also good, but I, I still want the crush the week. Other than that, Litiara Kinseekers is also a nice card, but we we need to start prioritizing stuff for our um, lower curve. So we we can rely on some foretell cards for our um, f for cheaper spells, but we want like a few change links on the two uh on the two draw on the two land two mana drop or two two mana cost um to play so okay this is more of a snow payoff um uh, this doesn't matter we don't want that card things of the cosmos this is white and we're not really playing white under sea invader we already have one and that's more much more than enough um we could pick another squash but we we should likely prioritize them do do i want another Lichiara kin seeker probably this squash will wield the table <laughs> like it like they did in the first draft so I will pick this one and try to use it to increase my my giant's count. And we got a giant. Um, 
a three drop giant um this is cool this is cool uh dealing excess damage makes me draw a card so it pairs very well with the squashes that i have i really 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 hope to to draw them or to 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 wield the other to what the other squash because if i get a few changelings if i get a few um a, a few giants and if i have ways to get over the, the or um to get yeah to get over the the early place from my opponent that is great let me just take the time to do something here ag magic let's shout out ag magic because he's a really really good player and i've been learning a lot with him and don't say you're not because that's just you being humble okay <laughs> okay uh, Carfellar Arbinger. This is still a wizard, so this is the kind of cards that we likely want in our um, in our deck um, for uh, as two drops. Okay, um, it has some some synergies with the uh, Fortel. It's not that we will have that much Fortel, but just look at our curve. It's awful. It's awful, right? It, this is not a. Um, uh, a limited curve and we need to work on it <laughs> we need to work on it a bit um altogether the, the, for the as for the rest of, of the things in there nothing really interesting um out of this pack i'm not really sure that i want another litiara keen seeker um it's already my, my my four drop is already pretty clogged in a way we also don't have ways to... Uh, if he targets one or more permanents you control, this Orvar... I actually forgot a, a, a bit about that Orvar. Um, so, yeah, let's start prioritizing two drops. This Immersturm Raider, like, it, it works in almost any deck. It can, it can filter through our cards in hand. Um, but altogether, not the best thing ever. Um, I'm still not sure if we'll play this Orvar. We we will need to we'll need to understand. Probably we'll do at least because of the second pa paragraph. Um, okay, this deck, dual strike. This is not really what we want to be doing with our mana. But if there's nothing else for us, I can play it or at least i will pick it and whatever we'll we won't likely play it hmm do we want another land on our colors feel like we we've been drafting okay but there's also bind the monster it feels like we we fell on our on exactly what we wanted to do okay so bind the monster is something interesting it's it's definitely more interesting than Miss of Ligiara, and it can get us through the early game. This Certland, whatever, it won't wheel, unfortunately, because it's already pretty late in the packs. But um, I would definitely be happy on playing two of those. I would indeed. Strategic planning. One of them in your hand and the rest on your graveyard. We don't have the graveyard synergies, but it can be um, a 23rd playable or something. This Narfi Betrayer King, you need to be high on snow. And I've not been competing for snow for a while, so I guess I will need to, to let it go. As Elsa or whatever said on... Um, the 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 movie that inspired Kaldheim, the the one from Disney, right? The Frozen, yes. The the that's the movie that inspired Kaldheim for sure. And we will the squash as expected. People are just too scared for uh, because of the those ugly fingernails, I guess. I don't know how that guy is having fun, or probably that guy is all, that goblin is all, always showing uh, his, te his teeth. 
Oh, I don't want another one of these. Oh, what, what do I... This is a sideboard card. Why did I pick it? How am I seeing so many Lithiara Kin Seekers? This is not... These packs are not random. These are not random at all. Okay, whatever. I won't... I won't pick more f f for drops. Okay. This card wheel, that's fine. And an all. And we'll have an interesting deck. We're picking some snow card, some snow lands, which is good. Just in case we want to to put them to some to some good use. So Basalt Ravager. This is a nice four drop. Um, it's to any target, so it combines well with the rest of the cards that I have. It's a giant. This giant amulet, really, between the two, I'm a bit undecided. This gives X proof to my creatures if they are unblocked. I don't have like vigilance creatures right now, I guess. Uh, that would be a nice combo. Uh, but Basalt Ravager, altogether, probably it's a, it's a better card for my deck. Um, and it also falls well in under the Berserker uh, Berserker's deck, the Boast Berserker, so Rakdos, and that's also a, a place. I know this is a giant, but it it's really not that great of a giant. <laughs> I already have some very expensive spells, so I I won't prioritize something like that. Nonetheless, this is a so this uh, if uh, was meant to to cast this spell, permanent doesn't untap. So this is a nice um, nice spell that we might play. But Augury Raven altogether, I think it's a be better card that will do more for us. It's it's a flyer that can actually um, hold the lines quite well early. Uh, so, so I will pick that for sure. Okay, so if we had, if we were playing some green, we could have a 4-4 green troll warrior with trample. Okay, that's a, that's a good card. That's a good card. I don't want another, another strategic planning. To be honest, I don't want anything from this pack, I believe. Just glancing over. Um, this is also not the kind of card uh, that I want to be playing on a deck like this. Oh, come on. At, at least a strategic planning. Okay, 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 okay. We have Bind the Monster as a as a likely play. I don't want to pile uh, that much on these kind of cards, so the second one is not that, um, not that relevant. Counter target spell. Choose one, two, or three at random. Controller mills that many cards. It exiles cards from top. Uh, make asset card without paying its mana cost. Exile cards in bottom of their library in random order. Okay, this is very weird. Without paying its mana cost. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it is. Feed the Serpent. It, that's a good card. That's a good card. This, on the other hand, is a bad card. This can actually ambush our opponent uh, if they are uh, not paying really close attention. Yeah, World Tree. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it won't do that much in this deck, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it, it, is, it is really, really interesting. If, if you get to six mana, like, you're, you're fully fixed. <laughs> Yeah, five color good stuff. Another squash? Should I play this many? Come on, probably not. I'm, how am I faring on creatures and on creatures? So I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. Um, probably I'll remove one bind of bind the monsters. But I need like I need ways to hold my opponent. We're seeing some green, some leftover green. Draugr thought thief. Okay, whatever. I need. I. Oh, okay. I was gonna switch for the Draugr, but that is fine. 
<laughs> that is fine. Okay, this is a nice card. I feel like I'm piling up on on card draw and I don't want to do that. But our four mana slot is pretty clogged. We need three mana. That's why I was picking the the Draugr from the from the pa previous pack, but I was not fast enough. Still build the multiverse is quite strong. Okay, I guess I will need to start putting cards like this on my deck. The, uh, bear in mind, this this is still a nice card, um, and being able to 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 play it on, to cast it on, on turn three without hindering my my the, the whatever uh, re, uh, I have remaining on my hand is quite good. Is quite good. Okay, this is a um, constructed card. Doesn't matter. A null. I don't want. <laughs> I definitely don't want to play an null. Run ashore. It's a bit weird. I won't likely play it, but I don't have any other option uh, in here. So, whatever. It works. Oh, by the way, what am? Why am I displaying it like this? You. Let me switch up the view so that you are better able to, to read the cards. Because reading the cards explains the cards. That's something that I often forget. Miss of Ligiara. Okay, whatever. I feel like I'm piling up on removal like crazy. But still, uh, early removal on a deck like this, it's, it's certainly something that uh, can do some work. Okay, I'll pick this land just for... For my collection, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, snow-covered mountain. I don't think I have anything. Okay, we have a Draugr. Cool. At least that. Another Draugr. Okay, we're piling up the, now the the two, the three, um, three CMC slot. Okay, okay, okay. Let us see. So, do we have anything here that we want to pick up? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, what else we have? We have Bind the Monsters. We won't likely want to play all of them. This Brain Barrow Intruder can be a nice way to to ambush my opponent. Let 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 us see. Um, let us put on the two land on the two slot uh, two CMC. Jesus, today I'm like <laughs> stuttering a lot. Um, Carfell Arbinger. Okay. Uh, how many foretell cards we have? We have dual strike. <laughs> this, uh, I highly doubt we will play something like this. Um, four or less this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy of that spell. I I know that it can work like wonders with squash. So I'm really tempted on 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 trying it out. But I, first, I need to ensure that I have uh, a. My my foundations well defined. That that's something that I cannot. Um, uh, I, I, I I I that I cannot uh, overlook. I mean. Uh, so we have four squashes. We we likely still need some early removal. Miss of Lichiara, it's one kind. Bind bind the monster. I will play the first copy, not the, the not the second. It's um, it's like. I cannot lose that much life in 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 white, uh, yeah. So Azorius in Azorius, so white blue. Uh, this card can actually you can typically play more than one copy uh, more freely because you will have a lot of life gain. Typically, uh, it's it's a deck that wants to get into the late game. You want to be foretelling cards early and catching up with life gain and uh, getting uh, paid off with your foretell cards. Um, Generally speaking, that is crush the weekend can can do a lot in our deck. It can catch us up. It's a, it's a nice board wipe. This this format is is um <laughs> giant auto seven wins exactly, Mitch. I was like uh, today I need to I need to push. Uh, I really need to to push uh giants on my seat because Mitch will be ecstatic and we 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 did do it it will be so awesome to have my agar on the battlefield and get my get my four squashes or at least one of them um 
with a dual strike and I draw two cards and it's it's just crazy. <laughs> Where is that though? <laughs> yeah, elves elves was crazy. Elves was crazy. AG Magic was was playing drafted an elf stack as he was saying and it was really really good. Uh it was like uh if Selesnia doesn't go as wide as uh, AG Magic's deck w went, so that, that's as simple as, as it. Hey Jason Atto, welcome, welcome, nice to see you around, how are you doing? And it's awesome, I, I'm looking forward to, to seeing that in your next stream. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, 43 cards, we still have a few to cut. Let, let us just check how our land count is. Seven, eight, nine sources of blue. Five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of, uh, of red. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 17. I will play 17 lands, yes. Yeah, 17 lands. Like I cannot really change the, uh, change my my land count that much. Okay, run ashore. Um, off target non land permanent puts it on the top of or bottom of their library. We return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. So I I, I don't want uh, an an expensive um, thing doing uh, on my deck. Have gaps, so no worries. <laughs> it's it's like. It, it, it looks like you said it in a in a very energized way, you know. Like I'm pretty good, mate. Uh, editing by the weekend, but I'm excited for it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you 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 need to you you need then to to do us um, uh, like a and give an explanation of how you actually built the deck. I was actually uh, this morning uh, replying to, um, to a Channel Fireball Pro um, form, the request form, so they, they requested some feedback and I was actually writing th um, that one of the few things that I can remember that would be interesting that are not really happening yet there is um, uh, they, they sort of happen early in the um, early in the um, early in the life cycle of a set but um, like building a deck explaining the rationale behind the deck like I started with this kind of card and we then uh, went to to search for some kind of removal or, or this kind of deck also requires um, some card drawing to keep up uh, in the mid stages of the game whatever Th that kind of stuff um, I, th I think that that's one of the few things that I could remember because they they already have such a complete um, offering in place. It's just crazy. Um, Immersion Raider. So how are we on two drops again? <laughs> this takes just a little while longer than typically. So this um, the, let us see first foretell. We have Behold. Uh, we also have Augury. So two of them. Three, four. Five. Okay, this dual strike actually can do some work because it has four tell. So five. I will play this careful Arbinger. It's so wizard, so it 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 gets paid um, by by my stuff or spell you control dealt damage. So spells also count. Spells also count. Cool. I might actually drop Immersturm Raider because. Uh, again, we have five, counting this, uh, I already pushed it, so five, six, seven, so we already have plenty of two drops, to be honest. Our plan is really to, to probably to, <laughs> um, to put some, uh, to foretell something and have Crush the Week available, even maybe cr Crush the Week on, on turn, on turn two. Uh, so we have plenty to do. This Draugr, uh, let us see, we just need to drop another card, so let us start by the, the higher costed spells. Squash, four squashes, I know it's a lot, but I will actually try it out just to see if it works, I'm curious. Basalt Ravager, it works well with our deck. Orvar, it's 
it's not that it works like wonders it still counts as a giant because it's a changeling um but it has whenever it casts a sorcery or spell if it targets one or more permanents you control so what do i have that can target myself this doesn't target this doesn't target this doesn't well <laughs> no this doesn't target it's it's only um instants or sorceries so i actually cannot really take advantage of um that line of text but i can take advantage of the second one um if it causes me to discard a card create a token that's a copy of target permanent like any permanent whatever it actually doesn't do that much um Hmm, really wondering if I should play this. I think that Lityara Kinseekers is a better card in this deck. And uh, either way, I will remove, I will drop at least a card from the four mana slot uh, because I really need to. Um, I cannot really expect that my opponent will have spells that um, that make me discard. So. <laughs> Squashes cannot target my creatures. <laughs> Six damage is way too much for them to survive. Um, Basalt Ravager might... No, 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 no. No, this doesn't target. So, unfortunately, we'll need to drop our bomb because it's not doing that much in our deck. This doesn't target. This doesn't target. No, 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 no. Okay. We have 40 cards. Let's see if just before moving on, if we want to play any lower drop. We have Immersturm Raider, but, but as we discussed previously, how many two drops do we actually have? Or at least cards with foretell. So this is this is the the thing that I th that I believe um, many people we will have are an hard time adjusting and probably even me. Uh, so um, here, these are actually my my two drops, provided that the the foretell cards are are any good, right? The the issue is I need to have a plan to recover from that, and that's what crush what crush the week is doing. That's what squashes with dual strike is doing. So I guess this is our deck for today. Let us move on into our first match. Oh, first match of gold time! <laughs> Jesus, I was. Don't get me wrong. Zendikar Rising was was quite fun, uh, quite challenging, quite 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 an interesting. Uh, so both the drafts and the games were quite interesting, with a lot of back and forward. And you could actually feel like you were accruing value. It wasn't like just wild swings of uh, of control over the match. Um, so, and for this deck, I believe that we. Red is more appropriate. We want our opponents to burn and get stomped all the way. By the way, um, at the end of this draft, um, depending on what time it is, we will do, uh, as usual, the retrospective on the draft itself. Um, if 17 Lens is working with a new set, I believe it is, but still it it might not have yet adjusted to it um and something uh, and i'm just wrapping up um a spreadsheet that has like all the cards and a bunch of statistics um around them and i hope to to be able to show you what this archetype is doing by by examples that's my like plan okay okay we draw the first game i was not expecting to draw a game Oh, come on. I think I, I was I was watching um, Nikolai Bolas. Oh, what's going on? OK, cool. They broke the game. 
Oh, um, as I was saying, I was watching uh, a draft by, uh, yeah, by by Nikolai Bolas these during lunch, uh, and yeah, <laughs> so uh, it was very very funny. It was very funny. Uh, he, he, he had like a draft. Uh, ju just one second, Elsa. Stop destroying my my cables, please. She's crazy today. Give me just one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I was just checking if my girlfriend had landed with it, with her face uh, somewhere. <laughs> so, um, so, so, so. I, I'm just boot rebooting Arena, uh, and I, as I was saying, uh, and sorry for the interruption. I I was just um, commenting on a draft that I was saw from Nikolai Bolas these uh, during lunch and. Uh, he piled up his deck with a card, I, I don't remember exactly the name, but it's like you enchant a land and that land, uh, when you tap that land, for that land becomes a snow land, and when you tap it for mana, that player adds an additional mana of any color. Um, of any color? I believe it's of any color. Um, but Arena had a bug that if he pressed that, that land for um, for for selecting the mana, so not not relying on the auto tapper, it essentially broke the game, <laughs> and he got stuck basically in there. And uh, so he, he ti his timer ran out, and he had to to pass the turn to to the opponent. So he he was like playing a stipulation draft <laughs> because of that bug, and it it, it was quite funny he, uh, uh, seeing him working around the fact that he was not able to like tap the land to give two mana then use the health that untaps the land and uh, tap again the land for another two mana he could not do that uh, because the game would crash so but yeah uh, as he was saying it's like um, as if uh, manually tapping uh, a land <laughs> Is is that awkward for it not to be to get tested on um, on on QA on quality assurance, whatever. Let, I'm just checking if my deck is still the same. So 40 cards, it looks the same. This guy is a zombie rogue, so it doesn't really synergize with our deck. But still, we need we need to keep those creatures. That's that's a bit the weird thing about these uh, these giants deck. I, I'm still not 100% sure what one should do until turn three. Uh, if it's foretelling stuff, glittering uh, frost, yeah, glittering frost, yes. Um, so um, so yeah, uh, let us find out. Let let us see if our strategy is working. Uh, so four lands, that's a lot. We have a a way to to delay the game. Sure, I guess I guess we can keep something like this. Let us try it. The thing is, in drafts, um, being able to um, so card quantity typically matters more than card quality. So I should I cannot really. Just mulligan be just because I don't like a lot the the, the end. This is not constructed. Um, let us add all the snow that I can. This has flash, so in case my opponent gets a bit crazy, I can dump my miss of of Legiara, run off their creatures. So they are playing slowly. That is fine. I'll I'll cast the tap land so that next turn I have a. Um, four mana for either Litiara, which I will likely hold for a bit. Okay, that is fine. 
that is now a shitty um, card. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Four mana. Four mana, we have Inga or uh, Lichiara Kinseekers. We have two wizards, so I want to play these two wizards before my Kinseekers. Uh, right? Yeah, uh, uh, vi virtually everyone will be... <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> so much snow. Um, a lot of pe I expect a lot of people to be competing for snow, so... Um, so I I don't re I really don't want to fall into into that trap. So that's why decks like elves and and stuff like that will be helpful. Honestly, there there are some weird color combinations. Like Simic is a bit weird. Uh, for example, it, it it will be hard to draft. I, I guess there there are, there are some interesting stuff. So uh, getting back to the deck, this is a giant wizard, and this will do a, a bunch of damage. Um, Miss of Ligiara, it's also a good removal spell. Oh, I, come on, I, I want all of this. I, I just don't want that one because I will have plenty of removal with just these two cards. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Limited, it's a trade off. So there's that strategy that many people talk about uh, of picking lands more highly. On pack one, so that you are wield the uh, the payoffs, or so that you get all the payoffs on packs two and three, because no one else is um, in a in a position able to take advantage of that. But that's just a strategy. Okay, that's a changeling. Uh, any number of target shape shifter. So I want to kill this before they do anything else. Um, as such, I will just. I don't want to attack first, I want to deal 2 damage to this guy. So I have 2 wizards, cool. Next I attack. I could have played the land before, because I could uh, like... Um, uh, how do I say? Today I'm forgetting all the words, I need to read the dictionary before going to bed. Um, okay, <laughs> Jesus, I, <laughs> two squashes in hand. Snow elves. Hmm. Okay, I don't. Okay, that's interesting. I don't remember. I, I don't recall a lot of snow payoffs in this um, in this set, but I guess there are. Um, so they have. They don't have two snow. Uh, three snow. I. I I mean, so I will likely just destroy their creature, attack with both. I don't need to, to play anything before combat. Target creature or planeswalker, each creature with power 4 or greater you control, deals damage equal to that power or that permanent. So <laughs> we. We completely ruined these beers of Lityara with our early removal spell. Okay, and this turn I want to play this Carfell Arbinger so that I unlock the Lityara Kin Seekers. Hey, Blade Sim Simru? Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? You came from a raid or something? Maybe I missed something. I I might not have my my setup. Um, oh, Mitch with a party of twelve. Come on, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Stuff are not really updating, but thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so Mitch, Mitch Worth. So I I was your journey on F Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy Nine. Okay, all the lands, all the lands, they they got this back, <laughs> I will kill it at the end of their turn, <laughs> or something. <laughs> Queen died a lot, oh, but I, uh, sh she's like a martyr, she, she's, she's just a crucial piece uh, of, of your team, and you, probably you, you, got, uh, you got tired of having her uh, just ruining 
ruining your fights with the with the wizards, the, the black wizards. Giants deck in standard, so you already had a, a giants deck, so I guess I guess you replaced like half the deck with these kind of cards, no? <laughs> okay, so if I play this I will still have um squash mana open for the end of their turn. I will just leave this at the top <laughs> because I don't really care. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun with my giants. Giants are very fun, Mitch. You you are completely right. Giants are very fun. The, the, my only issue is I have I already have very little time to to be playing magic. But I really want to try Midgard because it. it, it <laughs> I always say Midgard uh, because uh, that's basically. I, I see Midge playing it, basically. <laughs> oh, opponent. Just go home. Go home, opponent. Midgard. Yeah, it's Midgard right now. First win? <laughs> oh, this deck is bonkers. The thing is, if my opponent is not doing anything on the on their first turns, I also don't need to do anything. I don't need to be concerned. But if I faced like um, AG Magic with his elf stack, oh damn! <laughs> I would need that wrath badly on my turn. I would need badly. But yeah, I really want to to try um, to try Midgard. <laughs> a lot because it, it it has some some things that are are really really better better than than magic the thing that i hate the most about magic is um is the um, is the economy so the thing about me is i play limited so i i spend a bit of 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 money but not that much because my wins uh, are just uh, so if your win rate is slightly above 50 percent you still lose a bit of money here and uh so i just keep on losing a bit of money progressively through time so th this this end is um uh, is perfect perfectly keepable i don't really care this brine barrow intruder uh, i will likely hold it for later on oh, there's a mountain so yeah um yeah, constructed is awful. Uh, I <laughs> like I built the rogues deck that's not that ex that expensive in terms of wild cards, and I was like, I was afraid of spending a, a, another <laughs> another wild card just because they're so rare. It's so rare. Uh, I feel like I, I played so many drafts and I was still badly able to 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 craft one of the highest ex more expensive uh, decks. Stevio Jacko, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the stream. I hope you learned something with us today. So, I think... I think that I will have three mana next turn. That's correct. So, I have more, more value on uh, foretelling the bird than the... Um, so yeah, foretell. My first foretell spell. Then the Scorn Afiki. Because I won't have a 3-drop to play, you know? Okay, okay. We're playing against some... Probably uh, an elf deck or, or something like that. Or actually Simic, Changelings, Snow stuff. So they will likely use snow quite well. So now I will I will have three mana open. I can actually cast my augury raven and um, and old Bri brine barrow intruder. That's I guess the plan. <laughs> of course, typically it's it's better to to. Um, for, foretell multiple cards so that it's like you you your opponent needs to gamble a bit more but still this brine barrow intruder will enable me to block with augury raven their frost peak yeti i'm in no rush i have squashes i have a lot of stuff going on 
so this turn I will have four mana. Ingerun Heist is probably the thing that I want to play. And I will play my Snow Covered Island, Ingerun Heist. Hmm, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. So bear with me. I will need to scorn Effigy. I will likely actually attack. Leave my Scorn Effigy for blockers paired with Brin Barrow uh, Intruder. So, three damage over the top of their creatures. And let's pay this for the full amount. And ship the turn. Ship the turn. Yeah, there's. Uh, I saw at some point a pretty bonkers uh, historic elves deck already. So, I guess I guess there's something that can be done. Okay, that cannot be blocked. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Should I play this to save two points of damage? I don't really care. Let us have them spend mana. For, for making this creature unblockable. I don't really care about playing Brain Barrow Intruder too early. I won't be able to attack with it or anything like that. So it right now it's as value it's just valuable as um as a, a combat trick. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, my turn. Do I have a way to remove this? Uh, I don't believe so, so I think it's going away. Unless you sacrifice this creature. Okay, take action, I guess it's sacrifice the creature. Okay, it is. It is. I will have five mana, so I can destroy their creature. And I'm I'm not drawing my my giants, so I will likely have to to do just that. This doesn't re doesn't reduce um, toughness, so I will just no attacks and the turn. And that is it for now. Um, I will one two three four five. Okay, I played the land. I was for moments uh, afraid that I hadn't. Uh, but the plan is to squash their yeti, most likely. Our flyer would do so much work right now. We would be attacking in the air, like shielding. It would be so good. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Dump your mana in there. Please. Please do. Oh, should I attack? Should I attack with my yeti? I will, I will still likely catch you, uh, Mitch. Oh, or uh, are are you testing like uh, outside stream or are you streaming? <laughs> it's working. It's like the the Frankenstein movie. Okay, you need to sacrifice it to to do stuff. Number of snowlands you control them. One, two, three, two, 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 two. So they have two, two snowlands. That's still not a lot. <laughs> so this turn, um, there's no need on doing much. I would say. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, that's fine. That is fine. At some point you'll get back to it, but I guess uh, Midgard or Midgard is doing more for you than than magic, uh, I guess. Um, so land, land. I already have so many lands. All the removal. Do I want more removal? Even I will. I'll likely <laughs> want more removal. Let's tire my opponent off. Sure, whatever. Sure, 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 sure. Next. The issue is I don't 
actually have a way to push an attack. And that's not really great for me. Um, okay. That's not how you play that card, I guess. Sure. Oh, it's a 2-3 again. Damn. <laughs> Frankenstein elf stack. Yeah. <laughs> it's alive. Okay, I have one of those. So rogue, zombie cleric, all. Okay, I guess since you have two changelings, you get the plus one, plus one. And you scry. A lot of tuning. So, but, but that's, that's the fun part. That's the fun part. You don't attack. Okay. Luckily I have enough squashes for you all. No attacks. And the turn. Oh, come on. I'm not drawing my, my fun cards this game. Okay. A copy of a permanent you control. Okay. I cannot uh, kill the creature because it becomes the copy. Sure. Now I need to use it here before they they gain the, the counter. Otherwise, at least, uh, well, they, they still scry, but that's... <laughs> if they have a seven, seven toughness creature on the board, I would be in a pretty rough shape. I'm already in a pretty rough shape, to be honest. So, but that's life. Yes, my turn. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is a nice card to have. This is a nice card to have. No attacks. And the turn. So right now, I want to... To either destroy whatever they play or destroy their Lithiara Kinseeker. Another one. Jesus Christ. Okay. Because I wanted to kill a bunch of creatures with this. Um, with this. So I will likely be able to attack with it. And then use it for. Um, Dealing to damage to each creature. Hmm. Just thinking. Just thinking. Thinking out loud. Still, I don't like the prospects of having them with so many changelings on board. And I'm using all my squashes without my agar, which would me make me draw a bunch of cards, which would be awesome. But well. But well. Okay, 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 okay. I can get behind that. Okay, so what I plan to do is something like this. I still have Brine Barrow Intruder available, but the plan might be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can still use the um, Certland Frost Pyre spell. Finally, two, tam two damage, activate, whatever. I want card drawing, I need card drawing. We're doing, we're not doing that bad, I guess. We're getting a very nice card filtering and drawing spell. Okay, just one died. G-Force, G-Force is in the house. How are you doing? Have you been? Pumping more more musics uh, made on your phone, <laughs> or or are you like working on your setup or something? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm fine on attacking because I have a Brin Barrow Intruder. They don't have anything in their hand. 
dies, each player mills three cards. Okay. <laughs> Close enough, opponent. Your beat tape. Damn. Damn. Cool. Okay. This is actually an instant. If I... Four men, I have three men available. I can still place something on my turn. And I, I will leave uh, Breen Barrow Intruder open. Oh, come on. I'm, I, I had enough lands for a game. Maybe I just have lands. 21 cards, so I guess not. Um, this is a Scarecrow. This is an Aura, <laughs> which doesn't do that much. It will do, for sure, uh, to that to this creature. Um, but still, I, I can like... Oh I, oh, I have enough mana to do that. If they attack, it's so good. Uh, it's so good if they have nothing. Um... So, what I want to do is just... And this is how you play this card. Oh, sure. Let's mill. Thank you for milling a land. I also have some creatures. Come on. Where are my good creatures? They're, it's... They are all cramped up. All the giants are cramped up in in my in the bottom of my of my deck. Oh, undersea invader! <laughs> Let's start having some fun, shall we? Okay, this virtually spends all my mana. So, and yeah, let's start having some fun. <laughs> He's on mobile. Yeah, exactly, GeForce. I was actually I sent them an email just just before I started the stream, uh, because like I have an OnePlus Nord, so a phone from 2020, and it's not supported. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, and it, it's the 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 CPU. It's not on the list, and that's the issue essentially. But come on, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Do they have a counter? Do they have a counter? If they have a counter, I will like cry like a small baby. They don't have a counter. Do they? Do they not? They don't. They don't. Okay. 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 So I guess we're on attacking duty. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. So good. Um. I still have this flash to, to like counter whatever they might do on their turn, but still. Let's just... It's the attack of the giants. Yeah, but like... It's, it's all fine and good launching arena on mobile, but if they do nothing... Uh, like, if, if, if they support just a small subset of, the, of devices, that's not good enough. It gains indestructible until the end of the turn. So that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Uh, I did not read the card. So reading the card explains the card, as they typically say. I'm just thinking... There's no benefit on playing me softly Tiara right now, I think. Unless they have so something to do. Uh, with my cards. So, this is a giant rogue. This is a human rogue, so both of them are rogues. A giant rogue, this makes all the sense in the world, for sure. For sure. A giant that ambushes and does that that kind of stuff, yeah, makes a lot of sense, for sure. Okay. Still, we're in a very good shape. We will have a nice draw next turn. Li these Lithiarakin Seekers can do a lot, actually. It's actually a pretty nice card. Um, given that it works well with a lot of um, a, lo a lot of archetypes, okay, more snow, more snow for sure, snow every single day. So they have an indestructible blocker on their side of the battlefield, which is bad for me. I need to find a way to to take care of that. Um. Jesus. 
So, snow is strong, it seems. I don't gain anything on attacking with a single creature. Jesus. What I need to do is to have like two ways of dealing damage to a creature. Um, I need to have two ways to do that. Because that then, if they spend snow mana, I can... Um, after they spend the snowman and trigger this ability, I can, in response, kill it. This guy, this guy rules. This guy does stuff. Indestructible is very strong. In limited. Go figure. You weren't expecting that, right? You were not. Okay, they will tap it. The issue is... Sure. Lurking, lurking, Navkins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. Um. I need to start doing stuff. If, even if they pump for two, I can miss off Ligiara or whatever. They, they won't kill my creature with just a single pump. They need... Two pumps. One, two, three, four, five. Jesus, they have five. Jesus Christ. Okay, now they will pump. And now I kill it. No, I cannot. I cannot kill it. <laughs> this will be an art game. <clears throat> Okay, now I need to do that. <clears throat> Two mana open. Two mana open. What can I do to kill that creature? That's such an effective blocker. Oh no. Oh no. At least I have some snow. Oh no, you don't do that, opponent. You don't dare doing that. Why are you so bad for me, opponent? Then you exchange like the control of two non-basic non-creature non permanents. Hmm. Okay, we have a Draugr. So we can filter our next draw. This is more applicable for myself instead. I, I don't really want to apply this to my opponent. Uh, so how much snow mana? One, two. They can pump it once. So it will be a two, a one, three. I can attack with both, at least this turn. One, three. One, three, right? Let's attack with all. I know I will get an attack for five, but I, I need to push as much damage as I can. What are you thinking about doing? You're just reading the cards, right? I counted your mana, one, two. Three, okay, but you cannot, you cannot really use your third mana for any third snow mana for anything. Okay, now you're at eight. Let's filter my next draw. I want to target myself. Crush the weak. Crush the weak is very bad here. It's it's a sorcery, so no, 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 no. This goes to my graveyard. <laughs> And I will ship the turn. Ship the turn. So, by the way, um, if you arrived in the meantime, first of all, you're very welcome here, and I'm glad you joined the you planeswalk to to this plane. Okay, I, I know that was pretty cheesy. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but either way, I hope you enjoy. Today we're drafting um, a giant's deck in Kaldheim. 
and not Kaladesh, as I as I said on my previous stream. Um, so it is call time. I, Kaladesh. Kaladesh is an older. Okay, nice. I got. I got out of Crush the Week and I got in an island. So this is a Giants deck. It's not really doing the Giants thing, but it did on the previous game. Um, this game, my opponent is really... Uh, <laughs> is really screwing my plants. So they can pump this for a lot. They have this. So they have two blockers. They can tap one of my, my attackers. So let's th say that they take care of these three creatures, okay? I have three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I think I'll still attack. I think that's the way I have to win. Target player loses three life and you gain three life. Oh, they will gain three life. That's really bad for me. So they will, they would kill this and this. I would have one, so one, two, three, four, five creatures for their two, unless they draw another. Okay, to the hell. Yeah, Kaldheim, since, it, since it's based on um, on the Disney movie um, Frozen, yeah, it, it could only be good, right? It could only be good. Sure. Now they gain three life. I will... Will I play a land? I will play a land. Whatever. Now I lose three life. They gain three life. They cannot really attack still. But next turn, if they, if they have nothing to commit to the board and they tap one of my creatures and block block, I'll attack for two. So, but they committed to the board, which is not great for me. If I have removal, that changes. That's removal. That's removal. That's removal. Um, okay, so let's do some math. They have, they are at four life. They will tap my Litiarak in Seeker. Okay. Um, that means one, two, three, four go through. If they block, block, I'll attack for two. Creature or Planeswalker. Still, this guy has that touch, so it will trade for one of my creatures. So I will deal only two damage. Two damage is bad. Two damage is really bad. Should I hold for a bit? I'm really afraid of what they, they might do. On their turn. They've been... Holding on quite well. Okay, sure. Resolve. How much snow mana do they have? One. One. Two. Three. Four. They have four. I cannot yet squash them. Oh, maybe I can. No, they will block like this. They will block like this. And they will block like this. Okay. No attacks. And let's ship the turn. Yes, you need to draft the Snowlands. That you're, you're correct. You are you have one one additional card per pack and that's a Snowland that can either be a dual land or a land like this. Okay, so either one of these or one of these. Oh, another one. Of two target creatures. So it targets. So I can probably... They have snow mana to give it indestructible. Jesus, what are they doing? Sure, I will let that happen. 
Actually, that's a good attacker against the Finn. Oh, the Finn Breaker. I guess next turn I win. If all goes according to plan. Damn, this... This has been a close game. For sure. Oops, why? Why oops? Now I draw a card, because this is excess damage. Good game. It was a good game. It was a good game. An opponent controls is dealt excess damage. If a giant wizard or spell you controlled... Oh, it did not deal that damage. Or spell you control. To this... To it this turn. Ah. Huh? No. Oh, where is my additional card? Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage. So I did... Oh, forget it. I... I where are my math skills? Where are my math skills? This has six toughness. Jesus, do you. Jesus. <sighs> do your math, do you. Okay, you'll tap that. I will still attack. So they block one. Even if they block this guy. One, two, three. Three, four. No, three. I need to attack with all. I don't really care. <laughs> Can block whatever. Unfortunately, I don't have enough snow mana to pump it twice. But at least now, if I keep um, a wider board than my opponent, might be able to do su stuff. Agar is really good. Well, I, I haven't yet taken advantage of it. Um, despite all the squashes that I played until now. <laughs> but <laughs> my opponent is at one life. Please, please work deck. Please. This game has gone for so long. I have nine cards on my on my deck. Oh, come on, come on. Now I need more removal. That's removal. X damage, where X is the number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. So this is a changeling. One, two, three. I guess giants is the, the one that I have the most. Wizard, wizard. So one, two, three, three, three damage, three damage. I can do three damage to one of their creatures and kill it. Two poison counters. So whatever, I want my creature on my... Oh, what did I do? I lost this game. No. Oops. Oops. I lost this game. So stupid. Probably that is because of that. Okay, resolve. So I have two attackers. That's not enough. Now they will gain three life. Ah. <sighs> Why did I put the damage here? Why? Why? That's why you don't you should not play magic after work, I guess. Why? Read the cards, Diogo. Read the cards. Now they have four life. So if they block, block, uh, block, one, two. That's not enough. I need the removal. I still need the removal. That's not removal. That works well with removal, but no, it's not removal. Okay, resolve. Block, block, block. Kill my creatures. One goes through. Oh, why did I didn't I kill this guy? This was removal.
Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's ship the turn. Let's ship the turn and hope for the best. If I have... <laughs> Probably I played all the squashes. Probably I just... <laughs> like, I have two cards before I only draw lands. That's crazy. That's crazy. And my opponent has a card drawing spell. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I probably have punted this game. Well, I definitely punted by not killing this Finn guy, but... Um, I felt so close, so many times. A bad movie? <laughs> it came down, it, this is a... Um, this uh, is a movie scene from Frozen. If you didn't notice, this is the Frozen castle. Where's the um, the snowman? I don't I don't know where it is. There's a bear. I'm not sure if a bear um, shows up. <laughs> oh, I could have foretold this. <laughs> Whatever. I have so ma so much mana. I don't really care. This is an enchantment tower, so I cannot really. Double it. If I apply this to one of their creatures and I lose four life, so I go to seven. If I go to seven and I attack with all, they will tap this creature. So three goes, goes, goes. No, not enough. Not enough. So I don't really have much benefit from binding the monster right now. I don't know exactly what card is missing from my deck, but I guess... Yes, this Icebind Pillar is actually doing a lot of work for my opponent. It's keeping them alive, so I won't attack this turn. I'll foretell. And I'll end the turn. I won't use this this turn. Because I don't want to get my life total so low that my opponent could risk, like, doing something crazy. Still, they have three cards in hand. They're at nine. I am at six. <sighs> okay. It's a three, three. I don't think I'm winning this game. <laughs> I don't think I am winning. So, what's the last card in my deck? Card type, reveal top two cards. Sway a chosen type into your hand and the rest on, off, on the bottom. Oh, on the bottom. Hmm. If it was on the graveyard, I would still hope to, to mill them. Land? Oh, you drawn two. You're at seven, I'm at six. If you're not careful, opponent, you might just lose. Keep that in mind. So I lost my hopes on we uh, of winning through damage. So I will just do this. I won't lose life just because. But now I just have lands to draw, which is whatever. <laughs> which is whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Oh, my dual strike was too, too late. My Basalt Ravager could have helped. This gain three life. <laughs> they, they saved themselves both times because of these, because of these spells, because of these sagas. I mean, Jesus, opponent. Oh. But yeah, but yeah, my, oh, sorry, opponent, you were waiting for me. Um, my giants did not make the cut right now. Please say whatever you have so, so that I can by milling. Please, please. They did not throw anything because they said whatever. I don't, I don't exactly know what they said. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
this dual strike does nothing. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. They tap one. They have five blockers. I'm <laughs> whatever. <laughs> why am I? Why am I still doing the maths? Right? Why? I should just give up. Six, four. I'm milling first. So if my opponent, uh, if if uh, if my opponent uh, ships the turn without doing anything, without doing anything important, none of my creatures can go through. This does not ha doesn't have whatever flash. I can. It's not a combat trick. I cannot really push damage somehow. Um. Okay, what is my opponent doing? So my opponent has a pretty bunker snow deck, to be honest. They... Actually, th this is probably how our snow deck works. Okay, sure. Taps, doesn't untap, whatever. They have five car cards, I have four, so I'm... I'm losing first. But nothing really I can do. Choose a card type. Please choose instant. No instants. They only have lands left. So that's what they're doing. Okay. Good game. Good game, Opon. That, that was long enough. Let's go, let's go. Next match. This game was a bit weird, but we're close to to doing stuff. Either way, there's no better chance than now, after a loss, than for for saying that if you're enjoying the content and if you if you want to join me in this journey, you can well, you can follow me on Twitch, of course, to to know when when I'm when I'm going live with Kaldheim and whatever sets are coming are coming next. Um, and you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram uh, if you're interested. You have the links on my about section. Uh, I'm typically found discussing um, life strategy, um, uh, magic. Um, on my Instagram, I, 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 from, times, from time to time, there, there are some parkour fail videos from me. <laughs> well, not actually fails, but uh, I fail more often than not, I guess. Um, I will keep this. We have a three drop. We have a bind the monster if if they play something crazy. Um, so tap land first. There's all. There's another tap land. I could have played this first, but whatever. Okay. All the tap lands. All the tap lands. All the tap lands. So, opponent. They are. They have an Izzet thing. They are doing snow. Like snow. Oh, they are foretelling a card. What bad omen can come from there? I don't know. Whatever. Um, what I know is that I'll cast a uh, Draugr Thought Thief. And filter my my draws. <laughs> okay, uh, graveyard for sure. This is like a a scry, you know, or in, depending on the deck, a better scry. <laughs> That's what this card does when it enters the battlefield. <clears throat> uh, so so so. Opponent, you're thinking a lot. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, mm -mm. Hey there, Foxy, Foxy Fox. So we don't we don't have giants to enable our squash early. That's the thing. Ch blue cha sheep, blue changelings are really important for this deck. Like turn three changelings can be quite good. <coughs> So that on turn four you can you might even squash and do another thing. Um, okay, that's a good target for my Miss of Lichiara. Actually, 
if they want to trade, do I want do I want to trade? Not ac not exactly. Oh, but this is a combat trick, Dio. Uh, this is a combat trick. Come on, play your cards well. So they won't. Uh, they won't do it. So I can leave that this for their turn. For this turn, well, you can just do this. This is actually a nice combat trick. Uh, it's an interesting blue combat trick, uh, actually. But this is a flyer that I need to to get off. Get off the maths. The only thing is having three toughness might be a, an effective blocker for some of my creatures, but actually not most of them. Most of my creatures are have three power or greater. Because this is a giant's deck, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> well, you might not have noticed because I'm not throwing giants, right? I guess that's the issue. Another flyer. So they're playing the mere flyers? <laughs> or something? It's not, actually not that great of a card can do some stuff but if you're not attacking with your flyer um using it to draw cards it's it's hard not wanting to attack with uh, with a creature like this so they have something in there but they have no mana no mana So my squash is way too relevant to be placed on a pilfering hawk, whatever. Do they have a plan for their... Okay, so the, the, they have this card tapped, so probably next turn they will block with it. Are you tapping with it? Okay. Maybe I should kill it. Um, it doesn't untap. It doesn't untap. Do I want to target it to remove their ability to filter out uh, stuff? Yeah, they're pl they're playing a weird, a weird deck. Okay. Okay. Will attack. They will block most likely. They have four tell cards. They're looking at their four tell cards. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. What are you doing? Why did my music go up? Oh. Come on. Okay, I'm tired of this music. Let's put some... Something different. Okay, getting back to the game. They blocked. Damage. Do you pass, opponent? I have a squash in hand, if you get too fancy. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I will just foretell this. Because it's just cheaper. I could actually cast it and try to attack next turn, but whatever. That's not really my priority, I guess. Um, so, uh, bind the monster. Do we want to get that? They have two cards. So, I don't think they are likely to, to, be, to keep on triggering the play Fring Hawk that much more. Um, play Fring Hawk. They're really enjoying their playfaring walk. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> That's a nice squash target. And they're they're actually screwed on mana. So this takes all my mana but one. What I'll actually do is this will be for their turn. I will take out their filtering because they are... If they're not... I, I should have 
read this before because if they are not attacking with it they're hoping to do something um, they, they, they are trying to find something otherwise it doesn't really make sense right um, so no attacks no attacks and ship the turn we have a squash open if needed if needed but I would very much like to to draw something that that's like a giant please opponent please frost be Yeti. they can make that unblockable that can be a bit annoying well they cannot really because they have only a snow covered island okay okay they, they can actually uh, because it's only one mana I was confusing that card with another card. So do I want to squash that? I want to squash that. Does that unlock any of any attack from my side? Not really. So I don't want to squash that right now. Just that. One, two, three, four, five. If I cast my mountain. So I want to target myself. Inga Rune Eyes. If I put this on the graveyard and I draw badly and I draw land, for example, that's really bad. Big Bill Bird. Sure, sure. Uh, feel free. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. And have a nice work session. Thank you very much. So no attacks this turn. They are not putting mana on their Frost Peak Yeti, which, which I find really strange, to be honest. Okay, what are you saying, good game? Why? So if you want to trade, I'm willing to trade. If you want to spend one of your foretell tricks, I will squash your creature in response. Okay, sure. Crying 3 feels good, right? Okay, I won't crush the week before Basil Travager. <laughs> Most likely. Most likely. My Draugr isn't doing anything on the battlefield, so it will likely go down. Okay, three damage to you. That's fine. That's that's a lightning bolt. I am fine with that. <laughs> oh, fun, funny stuff. So I will attack with this. Try to to get them with my crush the weak, and that's it. Whatever. We ship the turn now. And next turn we have another way to kill creatures, because both are wizards. At least a 2 mana spell. Okay. Uh, 20 targets, so I will hit them to their face. I don't even care, because my squash will be unlocked by, by having a giant. Finally, we have giants in our giants deck. Jesus. Take that, opponent. Take that. Oh, your foretell cards are really helpful. Really helpful. Oh, a planes! Now they are unlocked. What is coming? What is coming? A Sarah Angel? <laughs> uh, what are you playing, opponent? Come on, please. Just do play a bi a huge a huge thing. Please play a huge thing. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Unfortunately, one of them needs to go. Okay, so I have three wizards. I need to play this before combat. That guy has vigilance. 
let's cry one okay so this actually makes me not prone to attack this turn but wait a turn so that i can use my my miss of Ligiara as a combat trick again blue combat tricks who never thought about that come on here come on come on <laughs> elsa today she's very energized she doesn't stop she's doing a lot of trickery today <sighs> runeforge champion search your library rune card well you had a rune here right so i'm not sure if you have more of those you have another one okay that's a weird deck opponent keeping you have a bunch of white cards expensive white cards not splashable white cards and it took so long to have that available okay okay you can attack this turn sure but next turn you will regret <laughs> at least i hope at least i hope with the miss of Lichiara. Well, I kept on top, so if my opponent is paying any attention, if I attack now, it's more likely than not because I have something, right? Just saying, just saying. Angels. Well, I was joking before now i'm not finding it very funny so um so this is only killable if they block with the big angel okay so these two bounce these two trade and i'm <laughs> i would aptly trade right um, then we have Basil Travager. Well, well uh, the, the rest is, is more straightforward. Um, Kinyara, okay, you're blocking like that. And are you blocking with that? You probably are. And his name is John C. This is not the best use of that creature, but at least I got um, I got to remove one of their creatures without losing any of mine. So next turn we can try again a uh, different thing. I have four squashes, so I hope to draw a squash at some point. It's squash, right? Squash? Squash, yes. S squash. John Cena! My opponent is gaining a bunch of life. I don't really like that. Yeah. Angels are a, uh, are a good target for that. Okay. Eager, you don't do enough. You don't do enough. Eager. So... Wait, let me just turn off this call. I don't want to trade Basalt Ravager with a Runeforge Champion. I don't. So I will set up. This flyer will gain the will win them the game. Oh Christ. What can we do? What can we do? Well let's think about options here. We don't have a lot of cards that actually matter. We still have three squashes. A squash here would be huge. Would be really huge. I would be really happy. Because I would I actually draw an additional card. And we have three of them. We're still not dead. But we are in top decking mode. Which is not the place we want to be. Okay. This doesn't have any ability, so that's fine, opponent. That's fine by me. Whatever. Whatever. Let us move. Okay. Now, deck, you're just 
making fun of me. You're just making fun of me and I'm not liking that. Next. Whatever. This is not a card that I that I want to play. Come on, I have so many good cards. Deck, please help me. Please, deck. Three life. They're at 20 life. And now I'm dead. Right? But I might have drawn something, so let us attack with everything. <laughs> no, no, now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. There's no reason in the world for them to, to block whatever. Let's, let's not waste more time. Let's jump to the next match. Two losses, one win. We started very well. Our deck did exactly what it was designed to do on the first game, but it hasn't been doing that lately. Which is quite unfortunate. Well, let's... It's pretty late here, so I will actually just change for a... More c a calmer music. Like the kind of music you, you would we e hear when facing um, a snow-covered plane, for example. That should be a nice view. So, Soul Time Mystic. Mountain, snow-covered mountain, mountain, mountain. Yeah. I'm, I'm in that spirit, Mitch. I'm in that spirit, Mitch, because two two games that I lost with an amazing deck, now I'm getting mana screwed even though I have nine sources of mana of each. Come on, deck! Help me out here. Okay. Oh, I pressed keep. That was not my intention. Sure. We can put a crush the weak. We have nine sources of mana, so we can play something on turn two. I was, I was being too stringent. So we can still do stuff to keep us in the game. And uh, as I was saying previously, card, quali card quantity matters more than card quality here. Those are some nice leaves, opponent. Those are some nice leaves. So now I cannot do anything. Three, six, seven. So in two, in two turns, if I don't draw something, a land at least, I will be doomed okay that requires me to <laughs> to crush the weak <sighs> i will actually so if i draw a land i will want to play a drogger thought thief so i will crush the weak right now just to keep myself afloat i have to I have to. Three mana per t three damage per turn is way too much. It's way too much. And they have a Fortel card. Draugr Necromancer. Okay, that's an island. I'm not able to trade for it yet. But still, the plan holds. Would die. Exile that card with an ice counter on it. May cast spells from among the exiled your opponent own. Exile. It's counters on them. Damn. Snow. They don't two snows, so that's already that's already something. Okay. I could play my eager. I actually should have played my Eager, because that way, next turn, I would unlock uh, Squash. Oh, library. Library, please. That was a, a punt on my side. I would enable Squash, and I would be able to... Uh, unless they have some kind of removal, right? If they have that, it's not that good for me. Still, it's fine. It's fine. It's not that bad. Um, so the plan next turn is to probably Agar. This is a giant wizard, doesn't combo with that, so Lead Yara Kins Kinseekers can wait until we have Basalt Ravager on the board. Um, 
No blocks. My opponent is aggroing me. With five color whatever. <laughs> Scary firewalker. Okay, so if you boast, you can exile top card of your library and play it. That's a land, as we were discussing. Um, so the most efficient play, if I play this, this will just do one damage. One damage is not that great. I won't attack because it would trade with a dwarf and I don't want that to. So this will be a very inefficient use of my mana, just because... Because this turn, if I played Agar, uh, in the previous turn, and this this is relevant, okay? If if you do punts, at least learn something with with them, right? So this turn I would have four mana. I could miss softly Tiara and squash, uh, leave squash for their turn or something. I could all actually basalt ravager, so I would commit to the board something while uh, deleting, uh, well, uh, removing one of their creatures from um, from f from whatever. Hey, thank you for Ria. Are you Portuguese? That sounds like a Portuguese name. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing well and I hope you are enjoying the stream. So, opponent. What are you thinking about? Way down. Oh, that, that was what I was afraid of. Why didn't you do that to my Draugr? You can boost it. So, but... If you boost it, you have just one mana to, to spend. I need to prevent damage, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not in a good shape. To be honest. Okay, that, that goes to garbage, right? That's exiled, so you don't play it? Whatever. I don't know exactly why they boosted that creature. But now I can only do one damage and I leave a blocker for their big creature. And that's basically what I can do. Unfortunately. One damage and that's it. Okay, it, it made some difference, that punt, a few turns back. Uh, but it all depends, to be honest. They're way down. Um, it, it was... Uh, they were holding that. <laughs> so it wouldn't likely make that much of a difference, uh, to be honest. So, go on, opponent. Go on. What are you thinking about? You're thinking what's the best way to win the game? Now then. Removal attack with both and done. And I'm like, I'm tapped out. Okay, so. Lesson for the future. In a giant stack, do not keep a two lander with a single color of mana. <laughs> I guess that's the lesson for today. <laughs> I know it's pretty obvious, but whatever. Okay. I'm still not dead. I'm still not dead. That's my five... Fifth... Color of mana. So this does not get a 3-3. So I'll play something that actually trades. If I do this, I can filter my next draw. And if I do this, I'm not able to, to squash because I don't have enough lands. Um, so Inga can also filter my my next... my <laughs> A lot of my next uh, draws, I guess. So, 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 we have five mana. Six mana would enable us to double spell, right? Uh, Draugr and Miss of Litiara. So I think I will leave a snow covered island on top. And I will leave it like this. Because the land is quite useful. The land is quite useful here. Unless my opponent wins the game right now. Because he kills my creature. This guy has haste. Front. So that's it. GG opponent, I will let you do damage. GG. So, first first Kaldheim draft, and we went 1 3. <laughs> That's a bit underwhelming, right? Um, 
let's do the following exercise now. That was underwhelming. Still our deck was not that bad. Let me show you show it to you again. <laughs> they will come, Zebastus. They they will come. Creature. Let me show you just that. So how our deck was built and how could it actually be improved. There are a bunch of ways. So our squashes, uh, four of them can be a bit um, a bit too much, given that we did not have that many giants plus changelings, at least two mana or three mana um, giants. So I guess we, in a deck like this, it's really important to prioritize lower uh, um, our lower curve so that it unlocks our, uh, some of our payoffs if we have that kind of payoffs if we have payoffs for giants it's important to prioritize that and our deck wanted that desperately and our our curve essentially picked picked at 4 mana I, it's, it's funny to see that 2, two mana or less uh, creatures we only have 2 so um and I guess this will happen often because in this kind of turns, in this kind of uh, archetypes, you will likely try to wrath your opponent before you try to commit to the board or something like that. Let me just check. Okay, cat is not destroying my cables. Um, before you start committing to the board, like you try to reset the game and then you you do your your things. Um, and the uh, Mist of Litiara is actually an interesting combat trick. It's it's not the best thing ever, but um, uh, it can draw you some 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 wins in battles uh, when when used properly. Brine Barrow Intruder. It's not. It might. It's not as good as the um, uh, as the whatever rogue one mana rogue from Zendikar Rising. I'm already forgetting the card names. Zulaport Duelist, um, it's worse because it's not, uh, so there is no party matters or rogues matters in this, uh, or not a lot at least. There are some tribal matters as, uh, for example, the Ravager and others, um, but uh, still it, it's a very effective combat trick pack, packed to a body. Actually, the... I would prefer to have more of these instead of just Miss of Tiara. Between these two, I think I would prefer the, the Brine Barrow, uh, for sure. Uh, for sure, well, uh, I think I would. Uh, minus two, minus three, it's it's a different effect, of course, but uh, uh, whatever. Less one one power for one additional, one full additional mana. It's much easier to leave one mana open than, than that. Um, so yeah, this was our deck. Um, it was a bit of an odd one since we could not have a lot of um, creatures at the end of our curve. Let me just check while you keep looking at the, at, at that marvel if 17 lands is working properly. It is working. It is working. Cool. So let us let us take a look at that. Let us take a look at that. I don't want that. Please go away. So we started with a with a changeling uh, card. This is like this is more useful, definitely in Simic, which is where changelings um, um, are more 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 relevant. Uh, it's it's interesting the the following. Um, and by the way, if you're not really familiar with this. With this, um, with this format, which you probably aren't since it was launched today. Uh, I, I'm also not that familiar, but what I wanted to say is that on next stream, most likely, we will be reviewing um, a spreadsheet just like the one that I was trying to show you, but it's not working because it's very heavy. Let me just try to close. Okay. Um, so it's a spreadsheet like this, and we will go through like all the archetypes, what are they trying to do, which are the enablers, which are the payoffs, um, which are the support cards, um, the ratings, discuss a bit uh, what's going on, 
uh we will review um so i had a plan here somewhere let me check next episode so yeah we will take a look at the signposts enablers payoffs support um as i was saying review the best commons and uncommons review removal review combat tricks um take a look into some statistics and some bombs essentially uh that that's that's the plan so that we will spend a little while at that we won't be looking into every single card that's not a plan we will just be trying to do in, it in a faster way but um like in a top down level uh in a in a top down um uh, genre genre of approach right it's like uh, we will start with archetypes, try to understand what they are doing, so then we'll discuss which specific, um, which are the enablers and payoffs, and do we have enough of each? For example, we can, uh, just a sneak peek, uh, we have, um, uh, I actually went on <laughs> with a, a little description for each. We, we will take a look, for example, into where the most uh, payoffs are and and the most uh, enablers are um let us see they, let's take an example here we have a bunch of enablers for this archetype uh, which is azorius because it's like uh, the majority is foretell or or the like or words typically because <laughs> because there's some flyers uh, some sub theme even in there but there's there's not there's not really that much payoffs. So if we look into where most of the payoffs are, so we, we see that there's a bunch of payoffs for Gruel Multicolor, so for for snow, essentially this is a snow ramp deck. Uh, but there's n there are not many enablers. So uh, well, um, I beg your pardon. It it's like there are not many enablers that are creatures, spells, and whatever. Uh, of course, you're you're supposedly picking uh, a bunch of snowlands, right? So that's a, that's something important to keep in mind. You'll actually have a, a bunch of enablers there. Um, then we have a sp there's also a bunch of payoffs in is it spells giants, and there are some some enablers, right? So this is this is a, um, one archetype that on principle will will work well and it's also uh, uh, important to notice that we're just looking into cards that i graded as c or higher okay so at least um the kind of cards that will will typically find a place in your deck um this this ranking is it it doesn't really matter right now i'm why snow changeling is tier one well i guess i guess i got beaten by a deck like that um, uh, but I, I don't want to overcome it that, uh, to, to anything right now. Actually, Orzov also seems to work pretty well. Um, it's also interesting to see that there are some, there is some concentration of, uh, support here. Um, and the, th or, oh, yeah. Either way, we digress. So this is just uh, sneak, the the aim of, of of that is just to be a sneak peek. What 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 is important about Orvar is that you will have more spells that target your own creatures in green, for example. Um, sometimes in blue, but uh, in blue I'm not e actually even seeing any instants or sorceries. So um, because you cannot really depend on your on the second paragraph having your opponent milling you stuff it doesn't really work that way still it's a changeling it's a four mana three three which is valuable so it's still it's still playable but there's not a lot of um of uh, this card going on uh so yeah in green you have fight spells that target your creatures you have pump spells um you have a bunch of the, that kind of stuff um so blue green it might be uh it it would work much better here we pick the land because this is i believe not one of the best lands of this cycle there are 10 lands which like produce one of the colors of mana and use the other color of mana of the, the archetype um to to have to have some effect so it it's it's very very powerful uh kind of spell but still i typically would not um, pick them 
uh, like uh, over over a, a very a B uh, uh, over another B because if I have a um, something uh, that is only red or only blue or whatever like the problem with these kind of cards is it's only good if you're actually in or, or it's only awesome <laughs> if you're in this archetype if you're not what ends up happening is um, you um, you have a tapped mountain and that's it um, because well and and the effect actually if even it's harder hard to splash because the all these lands require two, two um two colored sources of mana of each of your of the colors of your archetype so uh, and the effect is typically aligned with what you want in your deck. For example, this is this Scry 2 deals two damage to each creature. Giants are typically three toughness up, so that's that's um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, pick three. We will fasten this uh, a bit today because it's still early in the format. I just want to discuss a few cards and actually also. Um, um, understand a bit better uh, the format. Ingaru nice. So scrying 3 is actually quite powerful. This is like a, a B minus probably. I'm not sure if that's the rate the rate that I gave it, but uh, it's at least a B minus, I would say. Uh rune of might. Yeah, th this is this is a good rune if you're uh, playing green. This is a good rune. Um, because giving trample uh, to your creatures in 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 green can be quite quite good. Um, so yeah, nothing else more much in of much interest. Infernal pet. The issue with this card is um, if you don't actually double spell, and double spelling is not very common uh, in limited until either very late in the game if you have card drawing uh, stuff because typically uh, what happens in limited uh, even more in best of one is you are curving out for the first few turns like turn four or something and then you <laughs> you're you're almost in top decking mode okay so <laughs> um four tell cards can help a lot this right but this is a card uh, this is like a payoff for the yours of deck which really is concerned about double spelling Uh, waking the trolls. This is not the best thing ever. Destroy land. Put target land from graveyard onto the battlefield. From a graveyard, so you can you can steal from your opponent their their snow land, which is stealing their snow land. Actually, it's not that bad. I I haven't thought about that before. Um, if they control fewer lands than you, create a four four. Yeah, th this is not not the worst thing ever. It's still six mana, so it's <laughs> it's it's a lot. Okay, pick nine. Uh, actually, pick ten uh, because um, that's when the wheel starts. Uh, because pack one, pick one information is not available. It's not being logged for some reason. That's very unfortunate. Uh, it's it's really helpful to understand uh, uh, the first pack that you open. Um, none missing from this pack. So someone picked an Immersturm Immer Raider over a Nagi Mob and the like, okay, but well, actually, uh, I wouldn't um, criticize them because this is a two drop. Two drops are really important for, a deck, for an aggro deck where this card typically lands. Uh, it's still not a good two, or not an awesome two, two drop. Um, if you are building your deck correctly, and if you're not fl be getting flooded, uh, this card doesn't do that much on turn two. That's the thing. You you aren't still aware of what what you actually need. You're you're not sure if you can old lands or exchange lands for other stuff because you might miss uh, land drop number three. Uh, so it's not the best thing ever. <clears throat> okay, and we have a. Uh, Go wide card. Oh, not not actually go wide. It replaces itself only. Okay. This can be a finisher, but it, altogether it's a bad card. Six six mana for a three seven. 
and you need to exile creature cards from your graveyard. Hmm, not really where you want to land. So someone picked a Gold Maw Champion, sure. Glittering Frost, this is a card that we were mentioning before at the beginning of the stream. If, if, you, if you happen to know Nikolai Bolas or if you check his YouTube channel, uh, you might find something interesting in there. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking the, um, the chat. Uh, because my, my other monitor went for... to get fixed. Okay. None missing. Okay, run of might. Jesus, someone picked a disdainful stroke. <laughs> Before these kind of cards. Okay, okay. That is fine. <laughs> oh, so bad. Uh, waking the trolls, of course, someone picked. Break, breakneck Ber Berserker. Uh, this creature is actually quite nice. As, uh, as a way to punish people who are foretelling stuff, as I was. <laughs> so this, this card I, I had to spend, uh, spend a mana, but it still worked as a lightning bolt in a way. Uh, no, not in, t in terms of mana, but it did 3 damage, so if you're not familiar with philosophy, the philosophy of fire, that's something probably interesting for you to get to, to, get to know, uh, but it, it can still do some work. Uh, whatever. Pack 2. Well, let's take a look into pack 2. So we started with a crush the week, which helped us a, lit, a, a little bit, but 2 damage is not... Um, is not huge. Uh, it, it's still a board wipe, so it, it serves its purpose, for sure. It serves its pu purpose. You can foretell on turn 2, um, um, cast it on turn 3 plus a 2 drop or whatever, um, if you have any, <laughs> because I didn't. But you can also cast it on turn 3 and foretell another stuff, another thing. Uh, whatever you can you can do a lot of uh, it's it's actually versatile the, the issue is you don't draw it early but you can also do something like we did attack first then use it yeah it's it has some versatility in there narfi is great if i if i had picked a, a lot of uh, a lot of um, snowlands and i wasn't that high on in red uh, Narfi is uh, would be the pick, but still three snow mana to get it back to the battlefield can be can be a lot, can be a lot. The challenge here is to look for at lands as signals. Okay, now on pack one, that that is that is quite important. On pack one, you need to understand if you're in a place that you can prioritize snow covered lands over other creatures and. Um, so that in pack 2 and pack 3 you are paid off for that. Um, doo -doo -doo. The Tiara King Seekers. The Tiara King Seekers, because it, I basically picked because it's a shape shaper, shape shifter. Uh, but we saw like a ton of these, like 4 or 5. Ice Pine Pillar actually does some work. <laughs> At least it did for my opponent, it was quite good for them and quite bad for me jeez that game was so close for so long and then we got paid off uh, with agar rune of flight this is actually a card that might be interesting to play on your uh, um, on your giant stack now that I'm thinking of it because, uh, well, giving flying to a giant, <laughs> well, I, I guess, besides being funny, it's, it, it's I think, effective. Um, an effective way to, to, to lower the... Uh, but either way, if, you're, if your giants are typically uh, bigger than your opponent's uh, creatures, it doesn't do that much. Uh, typically, you, you might even prefer to attack on the board so that you um you 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 favor uh, or you you get favorable favorable uh, trades or you, you get uh, your opponent in some blocking duty <laughs> divine gambit this is a fun card um 
it's actually a a removal that should be played later in the in the game. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, Immersturm Raider. We might have played a, a card like this, but it actually doesn't fit our deck that well. Let's look into the um, into what wield. Narfi wield. Okay, that's that's funny. That's funny. Well, uh, blue was more or less open, right? We we picked a, a bunch of blue. Um, and no blue was picked from this pack, and this was pack one, remember? No one picked blue. Pe people picked the Fearless Pup, for example, over that kind of stuff. Maybe the blue player picked a snow-covered island. That's a possibility. Another squash. Another squash. <laughs> I don't want multiples of Undersea Invader, most likely. I might... I might play too but Jesus so many so many so many cards that are like exactly repeated cards it, it's weird I'm not sure if their random algorithm is working that well we got Basil Ravager over Giant's Amulet I still believe that is the way to go because this is a this is typically a two for one if you're paying attention to, to what you're doing and you don't uh, do three damage to to, um, to a 6 toughness creature, just because, okay? But those are life options, I guess, and I, I took mine. Another squash that we wield. <laughs> How many squashes did I have by now? Three, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Augury Raven, it's a nice card, you should pick it, it will make your your, de your deck in most situations. I'm not... This Forging the Tarite Sword is actually a um, relatively bad card. Unless you're really, you, you have a really good equipment or you have actually Alvar that you want to get from your from your uh, library. Um, yeah, okay. And that's more or less it. Let's just take a look into the wheel. The wheel on pack 3 starts not mattering as much. Uh, but it's still useful to, to know, for example, the squash went away. I guess someone picked it because th there, there was no other red going on. Cravenal can't block alone because it's a giant coward, if you haven't noticed. That's... that's interesting. Okay. He's hiding away, by the, by the way, behind the... Behind the tree or whatever, he's hiding away. Those are the eyes, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> that is funny. What is going on in there? Okay, I, I, I need a full-scale card to actually try to understand what's going on exactly with this, <laughs> with this illustration. Okay, um, still, uh, some, some red was picked, so we were competing for, uh, for some red, for sure, and that's. Uh, that's not the best thing, but still, uh, Raven Hulk might have made our deck. It probably would have made our deck. Uh, still, not being able to block, it's not great. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of white was picked. Um, some black, some blue, Berg Strider. I would be happy on picking one or two of these. One. Maybe because it's a five drop. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Trickster, Trickster, God sized. We got ruined by this card. Well, by two of these cards. Um, it was really bonkers. Wither Crown is actually a pretty efficient removal. <laughs> if it, it, it's 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 one of those traps, I believe. Like. I, I'll hold on to this creature for a little while longer, just while I I try to find my uh, whatever enchantment removal that I might have, like the changeling that removes an enchantment. I believe that there's a card like that. Um, and but but you, you like in, in between you lose three life and you you gain nothing. At some point you you need to to sacrifice it because you uh, you. <laughs> You're at a low, li lo low life total. Um, I don't know exactly why Sarolf's pack mate was still still in the pack by now. This is a uh, one of the top uh, green commons. 
but I guess the pack was short on uh, on on green. Probably whomever was playing green was playing Selesnia, I guess. Or I side troll. I side troll is actually cool. Uh, if the opponent is high on snow, I would pick this over the Sarolf's pack mate. On um, on a vacuum, I would not. On a vacuum, I would prefer the the pack mate. It was at this moment okay. That he knew. <laughs> Let me get back. Let me get back. Did this work? This worked. Okay. Let me just check because I was missing um the <laughs> the uh, the chat for a bit. The poison counter. Yeah, the po the poison counter. It's it's um. It's a weird, uh, it's a weird, there's a, w one payoff and relying on it, it's really bonkers. Uh, the, the thing is, the um, specifically the elves deck, you might end up with a lot of death touch synergies going on due to black and, and so on. Um, so uh, it, it can, it's a more or less a free payoff in... Uh, in in elves in some versions of elves <laughs> not yet it's so dumb um <laughs> i'm enjoying elves if it's a good open damn mitch did you re record that I, I i would like to understand what's the exact flow that <laughs> that they follow jesus I had, I had one of those cards played on one of my games, but it did nothing, basically. Um, well, it did something because I did not target it with my sp um, with my removal spell. Jesus. But yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess I guess it does some something. Turn four, you're dead. Uh, oh, but by the way, m maybe you're mentioning um, uh, a constructor deck, deck. Is that it, Mitch? So Oh Valky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Val Valky is is a is an interesting card. Uh um because it's it's a seven drop that also works early, <laughs> right? Jesus, Mitch. Okay, yeah, that's that's a nice curve. That's a nice curve. Yeah, if you're not splash splashing at all, uh, may maybe it's uh, it's uh, it's pushing too far. Um, but yeah, you just you just need a, a light splash. I, I guess in constructed is a bit different, but uh, you just need a not light splash since it's a seven drop. So you might actually play um, in, in instead of some forests or whatever, depending on your uh, snow needs, you might play a, a few pathways. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let me card. Let me check if these this works. Valky. There you go. MTG bot uh, twice, okay, because there are <laughs> there's too much text for a single message. Cardboard live don't recognize, didn't not recognize the card, but MTG bot did. Still, this is not a pretty way to look at it. Yeah, <laughs> well, if it suits the purpose, right? Um, it's good enough. So let let me see who should we raid today. Let me see. Okay, let us join uh, a friend of mine who's playing. 
tell me why, I guess. Okay. Let, let's go there. Let's say hi to him and don't forget to um, to refresh your browser after you join so that you you don't miss a bit. Once again, thank you for joining my stream. If you haven't yet and you liked what you see and you're you're interested in, in seeing uh, further episodes, don't forget to follow to and um, to follow me on Twitch and follow me elsewhere if you're interested. And uh, and that's it. In a bit, AG Magic. What in a bit? Don't feel the pressure. I'm just waiting for your reply to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I was just trying to understand. Yeah. So, guys, once again, uh, thank you for joining. Let's raid one gaming with Ste Stephen and um, and say hi to him. Let's support him because he, he's been doing some great content. Uh, let's do it. Oh, Sticks Palm. Thank you for the raid and for everyone that that just joined from Sticks Palm. And first of all, thank you for joining. If you are interested in following uh, my channel, uh, if you are interested in magic, you can follow my channel so you don't miss the next episode. I also have the the streams on YouTube and so on. So um, so so if you want to to rewatch uh, any, you can. But right now, <laughs> no no worries, Sticks Palm. We will just send a lot more energy to one gaming with Stephen's stream, you know? Uh, let's do that now. Let's start the raid again. And this will take just eight seconds. Um, I hope you had a nice streaming session, Sticks Palm. <laughs> yeah, I'll send the love. Um, I, I, I hope you also had a good day. <laughs> cool, cool. That's that's great. You had a... You had a um, a bad run streak, right? Uh, uh, one of these days. So, guys, once again, thank you for following. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, see you next time.